Black Cat on My Grass, Storyteller, Marion Dorsey. It's Monday morning and my first day of school. Mommy tries to cheer me up, but I'm not in a good mood. She goes through my closet to choose my favorite dress. I'll have to comb your hair too, she said. It's a mess. Mommy, can I wear my dress that's yellow, red, and green? And can you braid my hair too so I can look like a princess? Because you're a queen, Mommy. Yes, Mommy said with a smile. She parted my hair with a comb into squares. Each square she divided into three sections. I could hear her saying, A, B, C. A over B, C over A. B over C, A over B, C over A, B over C, over and over again. Braiding tighter at the ends, the hair art begins. With beads of green, yellow, blue, and red, I was surprised when I looked in the mirror to see my hair. Mommy, Tell me a story about a black cat. Of course, she said. Once upon a time, there was a black cat who lived on our grass. This black cat walked with such grace as if he could understand the human race. He would lick his paws and his fluffy tail so clean. I bet his eyes are green. Someone loved this black cat dearly because he wore a collar on his neck. The black cat liked it to tease as he pawed the trees. He was a playful spirit, mysterious and sleek. All of a sudden, I felt strange. So I looked into the mirror. Then I looked again. And guess what I saw? Me. I turned into a black cat with a fluffy tail. Here I come, here I come, to walk with you through the night. Here I come, a black cat in the night. Ah, that was a dream, Myra screamed. Myra shared her dream with her mother as they got ready for school. Wearing their colorful dresses and braided hair, She felt like a princess, and her mother felt like a queen, ready to start their first day of school with a newfound confidence and a new story in their hearts.